So Scott, um, you know, my background is around behavior change. Your background is around behavior change, but you're, you're a doc, and, uh, and so you probably know the statistics better than I. I don't think it's a secret to anyone that diabetes and diabetes-related illnesses are of epidemic proportions. But what, what are the current statistics around diabetes? <sighs> well, there's two stats that we need to think about. First of all is that diabetes is, is now present in literally tens of millions of Americans, eight to 10% of our population, and a third of them don't know they have it. So it's important, mm -hmm. it's vital for every person to get their blood work done and answer. The American Diabetes Association has a great online quiz you can mm -hmm. take. It's like five questions and you know whether you're increased risk. The other thing is you've got a full 30% of our population that has pre-diabetes. Yeah. I call it metabetes or metabolic syndrome mm -hmm. is a term some people like to use. Metabetes is the term that I would use for that. And they're getting ready to graduate to diabetes. Mm -hmm. Now there's a five to 15 year window, David, where if you discover it, you can move it back to normal health. Mm -hmm. But if you don't choose to act differently, mm -hmm. you're on an escalator that's taking you to the diabetes floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, the really the, the scary thing isn't the number today. The scary thing is where we're going. Mm -hmm. And as a father of four children, I don't know what our country looks like mm -hmm. when the escalator arrives to diabetes and we've got a federally insured system, and we're trying to figure out how to pave highways and mm -hmm. hire teachers. Yeah. It's not compatible with reality. Mm -hmm. So the current state is a train headed toward a mm -hmm. very thick brick wall. What do you well, think there is in the, what, do, what about, you know, what do you think we can do about it? How do you think we apply this to, to that? Well, actually what I was gonna say is, as you know, I'm one of those numbers um, that uh, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes a little over five years ago, and I appreciate hearing about the five to 15 year window, because the first few years, I was in a victim orientation reactive state with my, with my own diabetes, and one of the reasons that we wrote TED for Diabetes and, and wrote it as a story of health empowerment is following a, an individual named Joe that is not exactly my story, but is modeled after my own story, my own experience, and the, the emotional roller coaster as well as the medical roller coaster that people who receive the diagnosis, even though a diagnosis of prediabetes, uh, will often go through. And um, so I think one of the things that we can do is, is help people understand the disease but also understand the emotional, uh, psychological response to a diagnosis like this, and to also then obviously learn how they can take an empowered stance and, and develop an empowered relationship so that they can either, either slow the escalator or stop the escalator, or in some cases even reverse the escalator. And, That's where I'm coming from, yeah. man. And, um, uh, and as you know, as part of my story, is that out of taking the baby step actions that I took in the last 18 months while we were working on the book, um, I am very fortunate to be able to say that, that I have in fact reversed the escalator and have had a couple of lab reports that had me uh, at a normal for a non-diabetic. So I know it's possible. I also know that for, for some people and for part of the population, it may not be possible to reverse it, but it definitely can, can be either stopped and definitely can be slowed down. Well, and I don't even know if that's the, the question. I mean, to be, is the, the question is not, do we get your hemoglobin A1C, your three-month right. test, down to 5.7 or 6.0? It's, are you living an empowered life or are you not? Do you feel, do you have vitality? Do you feel yeah. uh, excited when you get up in the morning or do you feel, oh my gosh, here right. I go again? That, to me, is the question that has people have the possibility of getting it down exactly. to 5.7 or 6.0. Yeah. And that's what, to me, mm -hmm. as we've gone through this collaboration, and it's mm -hmm. been such an honor to work with you because you've really shown me in my business life, it's interesting mm -hmm. how, you know, in giving mm -hmm. you receive, in my business life, my leadership, in my staff, mm -hmm. my medical mm -hmm. practice, you showed me these tools, and I had the honor of then reversing that and being able to apply those to you yeah. in your own life. And 
what a great life it is when you're empowered as opposed to when you're in the, the drama the, triangle, right. just right. gutting it out every day. It, it's a, the difference is night and day in life experience, absolutely. It's amazing that a short book can start the, plant that seed that has you live a completely different life. And I think that what what readers will experience as they walk that journey with Joe in the story. I love the fact that it's entertaining and light. It's not a tone. Right. As a doctor, I read too many tones. <laughs> so this is a great, great light read that people will have a tremendous benefit from. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.